The Joker, as I talk about in my book, Personal Brand Ring Mastery for Entrepreneurs, is a great example of a personal brand because he doesn't care. He is totally himself. He doesn't care who you think he is. He doesn't care what you are. He doesn't care about your reputation. He is his own true self. He hasn't got a mission. He hasn't got a vision. He hasn't got anything at all. He doesn't want money. He doesn't want anything. He is his own personal branding from his makeup to his smile, to his hair, to his clothes. Everything about his own true self is his personal branding. And that's a lesson to everybody. You should be yourself. You should be your own true self and your personal branding. Don't dress to impress other people. Dress to impress yourself. Don't put makeup on for other people. Do it for yourself. Feel happy for yourself. Be positive for yourself. Do what you want to do. He clearly loves his work. He's always going around with a smile and doing tricks and actually having a great deal of fun, causing mayhem and havoc and chaos. The great line in the Batman movie, uh, The Dark Knight, was the fact that yeah, some men just want to watch the world burn. They couldn't figure out the Joker because he was his own personal brand. He didn't confine, didn't conform. He was beyond being able to understand. That's what you want to be. You want to surprise people, delight people, entertain people, engage people. But you also want to make them think, wow, I never knew that was coming. I didn't see this coming. He made say that. He, would, he, said, he said this. He put that great point across. He is himself. The Joker is himself. He's the embodiment of the ultimate personal branding because he is true to himself. He is totally true to yourself. And the ultimate values of a personal branding, like any company brand, like any personal brand, is you have to be true to yourself. So in my book, Personal Branding for Entrepreneurs, I talk about how you should be true to yourself to enhance your personal brand.